This video is a presentation of the improvements that come with FemDesign 17. First, we will take a look at the modeling and input enhancements. From now on, upon clicking on the FemDesign 17 icon, a control panel will appear. From the control panel, you can access all FemDesign modules, the FemDesign tools like Section Editor and Import and Export Company Settings, FemDesign add-ins to Revit and Tecla, and all the useful links for FemDesign users. Now, when you import a StruXML file that contains some bad shell geometry, FemDesign will try to repair it to a FemDesign compatible format. When the repaired model is imported to FemDesign, it is necessary to run the correct model tool to adjust the model geometry. If a shell region cannot be automatically imported, it will be visualized and placed on a special layer called Import Errors. This is just a graphic image that shows what the bad object looks like and where it is located. Most dialogues in FemDesign 17 are now larger compared to the previous version. The story view has also been improved. The first change is the settings for stories. Here you can choose which objects should be displayed at story view. It can be all objects above story, or below story, or both above and below. A major change has been done to the analytical and physical view of the elements. In FemDesign 17, elements are shown by default with their analytical alignment settings, opposite to FemDesign 16, where the physical view was shown. Also, there is no more display thickness command. Instead, there is a new command called physical view. This will display the physical view of an element based on its physical alignment settings. Now you have the option to set the physical and analytical eccentricity separately for intermediate sections. In the new version, edge connections are displayed with customizable strips. The width of the edge connection can be modified in the display settings for shells. In FemDesign 17, if a numeric value or a label is moved away from the referred point, a leading line will be displayed. In FemDesign 17, it is now possible to easily add a dimension in the z-axis without having to change the user coordinate system. Now, if the control button is pressed when returning from the analysis and design tabs to the input ones, the input view is restored. In FemDesign 17, there are two new options to modify the horizontal stiffness of the surface support group under the slab, independently for X and Y direction. There have been several improvements in the deviation load macro. The M applied value is cached and reapplied on the story. Plus minus buttons are added so the loads can be created in all directions. And there is also an option to generate surface load instead of point force. Temporary load groups have an option to be ignored in SLS combinations in load group maximum results and in generating load combinations by load groups. There's also an option to choose predefined PSI values. Let's take a look at the analysis and results enhancements. In FemDesign 17, limited tension capacity is now available for trusses. Now, FemDesign can also manage a situation where the compression or tension is changing during the iteration by the uplift in nonlinear calculation. The stability results display is changed. Now, the result shows the calculation method and values for eccentricity calculation and utilization. Maximum of load combination results now shows the ordinal number of the load combination from which the min or max value comes from. If you hold the cursor over a point, the ordinal number and the full name of the load combination is shown in a tooltip. In FemDesign 17, the Scale to View option is available for results displayed by color palette. It automatically rescales the results considering the maximum and minimum values of the current view. In the same dialog, another new option is available. You can now decide if you want to show the finite elements or not on the color palette results. It is available for surface color palette, solid color palette, and displacement color palette. The default option is show finite elements. 
In the earlier versions, the results of the solid elements in color palette were shown only for the sidewalls of the volume. However, in some cases, the minimum or maximum values are inside the volume. Therefore, in version 17, the minimum maximum points are indicated and you can see their position and the min max values. Coloring of the principal stress, moment and normal force results of shells has been modified to make the result more clear. The algebraically larger value will be the first principal value. By default is indicated with green color. The algebraically smaller value will be the second principal value. By default indicated with the red color. Display options dialog for principal stresses in solids has been modified in a similar way as for shells. But in this case, three colors can be set for the three principal stresses. Arrows at the ends of the lines are indicating whether the principal stresses are tension or compression. Now we take a look at the design enhancements. In the reinforced concrete bar detailed results, you can find new elements on the reinforcement drawing. They are stirrup dimension lines, long bar dimension lines, and finally cross sections with reinforcement bar numbers. In FemDesign 17, a tooltip for joint bars has been implemented for easier identification of connecting beams and columns. It is now possible to display the low direction of a steel joint. The option can be switched on and off in settings in the display tab for bars. Hollow sections can now be rotated separately in all joints for which the hollow sections are available. It is now possible to use the navigation buttons to switch between different joint designs. This category shows the enhancements in the documentation. You can save the window settings for dock graphs as default by clicking the Save as Default button in the Settings dialog. All window settings saved as default will be applied to all new graphical windows. Objects in lists are now automatically sorted by ID. New checkboxes named Fill All Table Cells are added to the list tables and to the table properties in the documentation module. When one of them is checked, all the cells of the specified table will be filled. In FemDesign 17, the name of the load combinations and load cases can be displayed for the load case and load combination result tables. This column is hidden by default. If you want to see it, go to Properties and choose to see hidden columns. Then you can unhide the column. It is now possible to list results only for the selected line connections. Use the list command, select the line connections to list with a blue box selection, and select the results to be listed for selected components. In FemDesign 17, the list to Excel feature has more options on how to place tables. Now tables can be placed in different worksheets, same worksheet under each other, or same worksheet next to each other. Here are some other enhancements in FemDesign 17. The graphical settings has been moved to Environment Graphic Engine and two font rendering options are available. The draft mode makes drawing the texts on the screen much faster but lowers the quality. Time save in FemDesign 17 will not save the result file any longer but only the input file. This ensures a quite fast model backup using less disk space. There is no option to save the result file when in time save. To save the result file, please save the model from File Save or Control S.